Omen. Lords of the Falling Collector Edition. Oh my goodness gracious me. Apologies for the late unboxing. This bad boy only came in Australia today. A couple of days after the unboxing of the Deluxe Edition, you guys would have seen there's really dope steel cases that are showcased. The Deluxe Edition version over here, which is an exclusive from JB Hi-Fi. Check out all the details of this. And of course, the custom iFantasy Box steel case. So right now, people, in this video, we will be unboxing the really cool Lords of the Fallen and going through all the details. So make sure you guys grab your popcorn, your Kool-Aid, your watermelon, <laughs> or whatever you guys need, because we're going to be unboxing each piece of this really dope loot. Having a look at the packaging over here, people, this is absolutely dope. Check this out. Man, they nailed the packaging with this. The top over here, Lords of the Fallen symbol. Looking all the way to the left over here. We could see how nice this looks like. Pretty much consistent with the steel case because when you guys look at the Deluxe Edition steel case, this is probably where they got inspiration from. That attention to detail is pretty sick. Even the front image over here, you guys could see when I kind of tilted there, consistency with the front image. Moving all the way back over here, we could see the first true next-gen Soul-like from IGN, the best looking action RPG to date from Fextral Life. This, this is beautiful, man. This box packaging is awesome. Even the other side over here, people, check this out. All that fire, those bats, so damn sick, man. And again, consistent with the steel case but yeah let's open up this box right now all right people right now we gotta break the seal and this is actually one of my massive pet peeves i say this in all my videos because i absolutely hate breaking seals <laughs> i kind of wish i got two copies a sealed one and an unsealed one but anyway we're not that loaded yet soon hopefully we'll be we'll be sent these for unboxing for free so we could definitely keep one sealed for ourselves but yeah we're kind of getting rid of, we're getting rid of all this Gorgeous seal here. Beautiful. All done there. And right now we are greeted by some really beautiful packaging as you guys have seen before. Let's kind of get closer here. Right now, all we got to do is get rid of this. Nice and gently. That's all coming off. And right now we will be checking out the other side of this packaging. If we can, sort of wiggle it open. There you go. All right, guys. That's all off. And right now we are greeted by some cool Lords of the Fallen promotional packaging. So I'll kind of show you guys how this looks like when I kind of lay it down just like that. So Lords of the Fallen looking absolutely gorgeous here. Love the font. It's not embossed though, it's just printed. When we look at the other side over here, really nice. The back, just some information over here. It says manufactured by Tsmarna, I couldn't even pronounce that, in Denmark. We can kind of see how that looks like, even having a look at the side image here, that consistency just looks so dope, man. Absolutely beautiful, and of course, on the other side here. So, of course, we are greeted by this when we kind of open it up right now. So, I love the overall packaging. They, they absolutely did not cut any corners. Right now, what we're going to do, use our finger, pull it nice and close to us. And what are we greeted by first? Funny thing is, I've not watched any unboxings of this. So, the internal packaging has this black. I can't complain, it's better than white. Let's have a look at what we agreed to buy. Oh, man, this looks sick. All right, I need to calm down because I'm getting too damn excited right now. All right, this is dope, man. Check out the presentation of this. Wow, everything is housed absolutely nicely. So you can see the black here, the game all tucked in nicely. The statue, everything is housed beautifully. And they even give you space here so you can actually pop it open that's nice all right let's check out the first thing here which is of course the deluxe edition game you guys would have seen seen an unboxing of this now let's kind of go over this over here so we can actually appreciate the really cool piece of loot here let me open this up so ever gently all right so what is this this over here the Tancred Rainhold. So while Conjured Twins, Tancred and Rainhold embody both, sorry, embody but one anatomy. The righteous Zelliot Tancred holds sway as Templain of the Older and Master of the, the, man, these are big ass words, 
Castillans, he restrained the heretical brother manipulation of the flesh since their accursed birth. In time, Reinhold grew bitter and corrupted. His festering ire manifested upon Tancred's body. Damn. Okay, information about Tancred. <laughs> That's interesting. Over here, of course, Lords of the Fallen, how the statue works, the user manual, which is pretty nice. You gotta love the way that looks like. Kind of gives you a rundown in terms of how to turn this on. Also, over here, as you can see, the top cover, the insulating sheet, the button, batteries, the bottom cover as well. Even, oh, it comes with a nice remote control. That's nice. Kind of gives you instructions there. Light off, four dynamic modes. Ooh, that's dope. Brightness, brightness plus, etc. 13 different colors, people. But check out all those details in just a moment. The batteries are to be ins inserted with the correct polarity, as we would obviously expect. Over here, we can see some really gorgeous art cards. This is really gorgeous, man. I love the high definition detail they put into these cards. This looks incredible. Look at this monster, man. Those teeth are just insane. And the back over here gives you information about it. So this is nice. I love the fact that these art cards actually give you information about the monster. Honestly, usually with art cards, it's just the image and nothing else. But these devs actually thought about how can we make this a bit more meaningful to our consumers? This is a massive, massive, massive thumbs up for me. So the, congreg the, the congregatory of flesh. So the horrific truth behind this congreg I can't even, congregator of flesh resides within the Tower of the Penis, a place where prisoners of the hallowed sentinels suffer horrific tortures. So this gargantium creature now haunts the underbelly of Mornstead, awaiting those hurled into the abyss in the name of purification. Damn! See, the vibes you get when you read this actually makes you feel like you're part of the experience. This is dope, man. Over here is another piece of loot. Check this out, man. This really gorgeous art card. Man, the Red Corpses are. So for centuries, Red Corpses was the first destination for pilgrims heading to the Ephraim. But when the uh, indomitable Rhaegar spewed forth upon this world, its villages were defenseless against such rage and sa savagery. The few survivors were forced to bend to the will of Adir, such corruption outwardly manifesting over time, thus rendering them unrecognizable. Damn! Again, people, this is awesome. Some more loot here. So we got ourselves just three, but of course, I've already read this one. But can you really appreciate what they've done here? They've actually made you understand what these really cool art cards are about. Absolutely awesome work. Love it. Of course, over here, we get ourselves some more stuff. But man, I've never seen that in any collector edition. Maybe just the Bulbous Gate, which had the character sheets. But this over here is another piece of loot. I kind of just opened this up so we could actually appreciate the artwork here. Yeah? And wow, this looks so nice. Oh, nice. A poster, baby. Let's check this out. Alrighty, people. This over here is a cool poster. And check this out. Again, that consistency when it comes with the steelbook. So when I kind of show you guys the steelbook now, the... Uh, exclusive steelbook from uh, JB Hi-Fi. Check this out. That consistency, people, check it out. So you can see over here, that consistency, you gotta love it. This looks so gorgeous. I kinda get closer so you guys can see the high definition print they put here. Really, really nice. A bit of A3 size. Let's kinda check out the other side. Wow, this looks incredible. Whoa, this is dope, man. Damn! Now that is hot. A double-sided poster. This is awesome loot. My goodness, man. When you kind of have a look at this steel case here, check it out how nice this looks. This is just so beautiful. Let me kind of get my uh, fantasy box steel case over here so we can kind of do a bit of a comparison of both. So over here, of course, the internals of oh, the steel case has this really awesome image here. Obviously, it's probably a different person, but we can, we can kind of appreciate the artistry. Even the back, man, check this out. I'm assuming these two are probably the same character, but have a look at how nice that looks. Incredible. A really awesome piece of loot. All right, people, next over here, of course, is the deluxe edition itself. Packaging looks really nice. You guys would have seen this already from my other unboxing on Friday. 
Let's kind of check it out over here. Lord of the Fallen on the side and the back over here, awesome, juicy, beautiful contents of the game. So let's kind of open this up and see whether there are any core differences with the one that I unboxed from JB Hi-Fi last week. Beautiful. Let's kind of open this up and see what we get over here. So of course, we grab ourselves some Deluxe Edition loot. So over here, of course, is the Deluxe Edition, as you guys know, that I showed y'all last week on my cool giveaway. Inside over here, people, of course, there is no artwork. A bit disappointing, though. I wish there was a bit of artwork there to really lift this cool collector edition. The disc over here is what we can expect, looking absolutely dope. So that, of course, is just the deluxe edition. You guys know what's included that I went through in my previous video before. But yeah, I'm going to put that right over there. So next over here, people, we grab ourselves some really cool loot over here, man. Check this out. The steel case and the art book, man. Woo! I am so keen. So damn excited. Let's kind of get this out of the box over here and see how this is going to look like. Let's kind of uh, try our best to get this out with two hands. Yeah, baby. All right. I've popped it out. And man, this is dope. This is really, really dope. All right. Let's kind of uh, move these steel cases all the way to the back and move our gorgeous loot to the back as well. So we could actually check out how nice this looks. Before I even open anything, I want to kind of show you guys what I see. So the top over here, Lords of the Fallen, and this is actually embossed. You can actually feel that embossed vibe to it when you put your fingers all over it. That looks so nice. Let's kind of do a bit of a front view here. We can see the statue, the art book, and the steel case. When you kind of have a look over here, again, that consistency with that really cool artwork. The back over here has some beautiful imagery of Lords of the Fallen. They really nailed packaging. Look at this, man. Even the other side over here, that consistency with the steel case and, of course, the packaging that you guys have seen. So these guys really paid a lot of attention to detail when it comes to the packaging. And, of course, this, this over here is a slipcover. And this is hot. Wow. Woo! Man, this is sexy, man. Check this out, man. All right. First things first, people, what we're going to do is you guys could see the bottom over here. You could just put your hand and I want to check out the steel case. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Woo! This is hot. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. Damn. This is awesome. Let me, let me get real close to the camera over here so we can appreciate the artistry here. I'm loving this metallic vibe to it. This is hot, man. Let's do a bit of a smell test on the steel case. Mm. You know when you buy a fresh pair of Nikes or a fresh pair of, um, like, a, like a fresh t-shirt? Man, look at that. Damn. So you could see how nicely done this was. I love the red, even the fire coming underneath here. When you kind of do a bit of a, uh, you can see continues there too. Man, this is hot. Let's kind of tap to zoom so this camera ain't, ain't getting too confused. But this is beautiful, man. Let's check out the, the spine. Lords of the Fallen, thank God. <laughs> you guys obviously saw my previous steel case, uh, the deluxe edition one, which, can, which contains no spine, which makes absolutely no sense. But thank God this one has Lords of the Fallen. The back over here, a really awesome image. This is dope. Again, that consistency, it's all over the box art and it's actually embossed in the steel case. So you can actually feel the grooves of this. This is beautiful. And you can even see the bit of black line over here. If you, if you guys can see it, that attention to detail, people. That's so nice, man. Let's kind of open this up. Oh my goodness, man. You can see that embossed sign over here from the outside and check it out nice. This artwork looks like, that looks incredible. Man, Woo! this is hot. I'm so proud to say that I've collected the Collector Edition steel case, the Deluxe Edition steel case, and the Eye Fantasy Box steel case. I got my Lords of the Fallen loot completed, baby. All I probably need now is just the first Lords of the Fallen Collector Edition. Then I could say, yeah, we've definitely collected this. This is an absolutely incredible steel case. Very creative. 
absolutely gorgeous, man. Damn. All right, let's put that all the way back there. Kind of, kind of tap to zoom. All right. Next over here, of course, is the art book. So kind of uh, be gentle with this. And let's check this out. So the official art book of Lords of the Fallen, baby. Let's check out the, the uh, art here. So Lords of the Fallen looks really nice. The official book on top. Pages are white. Do, do, do a bit of a uh, 360 here. Lords of the Fallen. Let's do a bit of a smell test too. Mm, mm, mm. Smells too good, baby. We've got the Lords of the Fallen branding there too. Let's open up this book right now. Alrighty, people, let's check out this book right now. And first impressions is this is what we are greeted by. Really cool artwork. And we're gonna go through each page by page. So go ahead, people, grab that wine, grab that Kool-Aid, that watermelon, <laughs> that fried chicken, baby. Do whatever you need to do because we're not gonna skip any pages. Obia says, welcome to the Art of Lords of the Falling. So greetings, Dr. Crusader. I'm honored on behalf of the whole Hexwork team to welcome you to the official art book of Lords of the Fallen. They even welcome you, which is dope. The art director, Alex, thank you very much, Alex, for putting this baby together. We appreciate you. And all the different images here of the environments of this game looking so damn good. Check this out, man. I'm getting some Dark Souls vibes right now. Some Elden Ring vibes right now. I'm getting those vibes. But I'm yet to play this game, people. Let me know in the comments below whether y'all are enjoying it or if y'all think it's a disappointment. It's on my backlog of games. You can see all these things. Twin blades, rider mode, knives, etc. Apparently, there's over 100 pages in this art book. Man, look at this. This looks so sick. The drawings, man. Kind of reminds me of Inarius from, from Diablo. With those wings. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. Oh man, that looks good. Man, I could smell the pages from here. <laughs> you know when something's that fresh? Smells too good. Man, check this out. Gloomy and red. Damn. One pet peeve that I could say about this art book is it would have been dope if there was a bit of um, explanations on who these people are. Just like those really cool lithographs that we saw, it actually had a description of what those uh, enemies were. That would have really taken this to the next level. However, the art of this is just top notch. Absolutely top notch. Check this out, man. When you really talk about creativity, taking things to the next level, pushing boundaries with design. This is what I'm talking about. Damn. Man, look at this image. Man. Some more images over here, pretty awesome. Get a bit more context when I play the game. But man, check out these gloomy ass images. Man, look at that. Oh man. So he has a head coming out of his spine. That is just crazy. That's just what you call, you like no boundaries of art. They just go crazy, man. Jeez. I swear if this studio releases statues, I'm definitely gonna be picking that up. Damn. Check this out. This actually reminds me of the Elden Tree in Elden Ring. Look at that. Jesus. Different artwork concepts at the bottom over there as well. That's just crazy. Some more gloomy environments. Probably the last town. Damn. 
skeleton army. This reminds me of, is it in Elden Ring or is it in Dark Souls? I remember playing one of these, fighting one of these animals. I think it was in Dark Souls 3. There was an enemy that looked exactly like this. A wolf that you would fight. I remember, yes, it was Dark Souls 3. They obviously got a lot of inspiration from, from software. Even these sort of visceral attacks. Man. Such gloomy images, but this is a dope art book. I really love it, man. This is nice. Like, if you guys really want art and really cool environments to really get you guys involved in this type of game, then absolutely, man. I can feel my daughter's energy coming upstairs. <laughs> she may say, what's up? But man, look at this. Jeez. That sword all down. Let's go next page over here. Oh yeah, and of course this is who we got as a statue. Would be pretty dope if we got all different ones here. Damn. This guy actually reminds me of Slave Night Gale from Dark Souls 3. Very similar vibes. Jeez. Evil, baby. Evil. Alright, next over here we got another image. And check that out. All these different classes, I'm assuming. Could be wrong, but these are all the different maybe enemies or encounters that you get. But I remember seeing this from some gameplay from the game. You could actually play as a Bloodborne like character, which is pretty dope. Can't wait. And these are all the people, all the credits. Shout out to all these people that made this game happen. Daniel, Lewis, all these people. You, you done an amazing job. A really awesome piece of loot, man. Absolutely recommend you guys pick up this art book. All right, people, what we're left with is just the statues. Now, let's kind of be very gentle with this. I did not want to drop the statue. <laughs> let's, let me kind of uh, try and get this out somehow, some way. All right, let's try, try to open it from the top over here. If I can, if, if I can find a way. I guess we will. All right, guys, I have to sort of get rid of these sides so it kind of comes pops out so yeah you gotta just be super gentle with this sort of pop it out just like that and there's more plastic at the back so what i'll just do is i'll kind of pop it off just like this and i put the statue right over there we also greeted by some more stuff in the box. let me kind of uh go back here it's this cool piece of loot here so as you, as you can see we have ourselves some stuff there let me kind of get this out I love the fact that it's really nice and well protected, which is nice. I cannot complain. Cool, so we grab ourselves the really cool lamp. And of course, you're able to kind of see different parts of the world. I've done a bit of research there. And of course, the really cool sword. And let's kind of get real close. This, to be honest, is very fragile. I could tell if you drop this, this would definitely break. But regarding the artistry, this looks incredible, man. I'll be so gentle with this. Wow. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I'll do a bit of a 360. Be forever gentle with this. Even the grooves of the sword, really nice. I put it really gently on, on the ground. Then of course we have the, uh, the lamp. It does look really nice as well. What would have been dope is if this actually lit up. I would really like that. One really small but cool detail is when you actually look in this box, as I mentioned before, you guys grab yourself a cool remote that's also sealed. You gotta love that. An original kind of remote. Wish it was themed, you know? Like small details, like having a themed remote. Yeah, it does say Lords of the Fallen there. There's a coming batteries. Let's, let's check that. That can always come out. If I kind of uh, 
release that. It should hopefully come with batteries. Does it? Does this work without batteries? Unfortunately not. I've got to plug in a battery over here. As you can see, release. That's fine. I'll sort that out in a moment. But yeah, that's the remote. But when you kind of guys have a look at this cool box here, you can see the light on top and some really cool background there. If I can get real close, let me kind of move it there. There you go. You guys can see the actual background, how nice that looks like. Even on the left side over here, they really paid a lot of attention to detail with this statue. Really gorgeous background. So this cool looking tin that this statue comes in, I think it's really, really well crafted and really well done. So right now what we're going to do is check out the details of the statue. Yeah. All right, people, this is the statue over here. And oh my goodness gracious me, man. Look at how nice this looks like. The attire is booming. It was really easy to put on. A whole lot of attention on the clothing, the belt. Done so good. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Dare to hope. You can even see how wow this is done this is actually made out of an aluminium material not plastic which is nice underneath over here lords of the fallen you gotta love it no number unfortunately moving all the way to the back over here i love the statue man i only have one pet peeve it is so small the base looks incredible look at that base man so beautiful. This over here is the steel case in comparison. So basically, it's the height of a steel case, which is small. So yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with that. However, a really beautiful piece of loot. The weapons and the lamp was so easy to put on. So don't worry too much about that. So right now, what we're gonna do is check out how nice this looks like in the display case with all the different lighting. Alrighty, people, this over here is the remote control. So right now I'm gonna just turn it on. We can see all different lightning modes. Let's kind of zoom in a bit so we can appreciate the artistry. It has a really cool job when it comes to the effects of the statue. So, so, so cool. Let's kind of uh, change it up. So I'll change it to maybe red. We can see how nice that looks like. Let's go green. Hmm, green ain't working. <laughs> Let's try blue. Okay, that's interesting. Just red only. Let's kind of turn this off. One thing I can say about this remote is the buttons are very mushy. If I'm to be really honest with you, you gotta like be. Re oh, there you go. You gotta press it really hard. So, orange. Just, let's try blue. Blue over here. Uh, blue ain't working. Let's try purple. Purple ain't working. Let's try. Uh, oh, purple's now working. Is as, as y'all can see, let's try a different color over here. I could definitely say this remote is pretty buggy, man. Red's working. So, you know, this is really weird. I made sure that the uh, the battery's in properly, but you, you gotta press these buttons a couple of times. So maybe they gotta look into, you know, making sure it works, but, but there you go. Blue's working. Orange is working. Okay, green, there you go. So you gotta really press it hard. Over here, you're able to pick different modes. So strobe, as you can see over there, it's on strobing mode. If y'all can see, if I wanna push fade, I can push fade right now. That's the fade mode. Let's pick smooth. <laughs> That's not smooth at all. <laughs> That's actually flashing. Let's try flashing. There you go, that's flashing. Over here, I'm assuming it's the brightness. Let's try this one. There you go. So, so it goes, oh, this is the speed. Okay. If you have wanted a really cool rave party, you could actually pick the speed over here. And this kind of slows it down. This button over here slows it down. And W is just white. So yeah, people, those are all the modes of this cool controller. Because you guys could see over here, my, my awesome PC has all types of color. I like me some RGB, baby. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably uh, try something else over here. Maybe I'll try uh, smooth. 
maybe I'll go red over here, and, and, and then I'll say smooth. I don't know. Or, or maybe fade. But this controller overall, people, it's dope, but it's pretty buggy. Like, you gotta really push really hard to get things to work. But overall, people, a really awesome piece of loot. But if they made this a bit more responsive without you having to really, like, dig deep into the buttons like this, because y'all could see, like, when you press this button, nothing happens. But sometimes it works. Like, right now, it's working, which is nice. Oh, there you go. It's working. Pink, blue, yellow. That's dope. But yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work. But yeah, really awesome piece of loot, man. So there we have it, people. The Lords of the Fallen Collector Edition. Over here, this includes the, the Deluxe Edition, which includes some really awesome DLC loot. The really cool steel case that looks incredible. Three lithographs that go through each details of what it entails. A double-sided gorgeous poster an amazing statue man with some cool RGB effects and on top of it too really well housed beautiful packaging there the steel case that comes with the, with the deluxe edition exclusive to JB Hi-Fi the art book and the exclusive custom steel case for myfantasybox.com and of course the packaging let's kind of do a bit of a breakdown to see whether this collector edition is absolutely worth it Let's have a look at the value of the game. So usually games like this are around $100 in Australia. So that's $100 there. When we have a look at the steel case here, this steel case looks incredible. I'll probably put around a $30 value. So $130, the DLC included. I'll probably give it like 20 bucks because it includes some really cool stuff. A digital art book included in this DLC, which is so sick. Plus some really cool skins. So yeah, $20 value is definitely worth it. So $150, right? These lithographs over here look incredible. They kind of go through the details of what it entails. So for an example over here, this really gorgeous image, and it tells you what it's about. So the Tancred and Rainhold, that is dope. I put $10 value on that. This really cool double-sided poster, maybe five bucks max, because to be honest, it won't take much to actually print this. But let me be fair, $10 there. So we're looking around that 170 mark. This really cool looking statue. It is so small, however, Looks really awesome there. I put around a fifty to seventy dollar value. Let, let me be fair, seventy bucks for the statue. So seventy plus one seventy is two hundred and forty dollars. When it comes to this really awesome packaging here, really awesome man. Looks nice. Lords of the Fallen on top. Gorgeous artwork on the side and it lights up. I could easily put a dollar of around thirty dollar value there. I'll say thirty to forty bucks. Let's say thirty just to be fair. So thirty plus two forty is 270 when we look at this really cool art book here yeah? man 102 pages for this art book how much value would i put there hmm that's a bit of a hard on two i'll probably give that around 30 bucks so looking around 300 and we have a look at the packaging overall or how this is housed maybe 20 dollar value so around 329 is maximum when we include tax an X thirty dollars, so around that three seventy mark. So to be honest, this is actually really, really a good price for three hundred and seventy nine Australian dollars. Absolutely, this is worth every single penny. Of course, I got myself the custom steel case from JB Hi-Fi, which is not included. But if you guys wanted to just pick up the collective edition, three seventy nine is absolutely worth the price point. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. A rating out of ten. What would I give this? Regarding value, a 10 out of 10. Regarding details of packaging, I'll probably give this a 10 out of 10 as well. Overall, the rating for this collector edition is a 10 out of 10. You grab yourselves a steel case, a art book, a statue, props that really insinuate how gorgeous the design looks like, the packaging, fantastic. My only one pet peeve of this collector edition, people, is just the size of the statue. Besides that, this is absolutely worth it. We are The Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you later. Deuces.